To all who come to this happy place, welcome. G'day guys, Disney Dave back here again. Coming at you with another uh, video review. Today it's sort of a hybrid cross music slash uh, memorabilia review. We are of course taking a look at the brand new Lady in the Tramp Magic Mirror Storyteller Vinyl. Vinyl! It's a record! Like, it's actually a record. There's music on this. It is back. Vinyl is back. Vinyl has made a resurgence within the last handful of years. The last three or so years it's sort of really been picking up steam and now it's just sort of back full swing. Uh, you can get just about anything on vinyl now. And some people see it as a bit of a gimmick, uh, but other people are uh, like audiophiles. This is fantastic that records are back. You know, people who just want the purest, like most original sounding music out there. The way music was originally meant to sound. But for people like me, collectors, memorabilia hunters, you know, and fans of this kind of stuff, just like physical stuff, it's awesome, and in a, in a world that's going rapidly digital, whether it be movies or music or whatever, having something like this, physical, is just, is just fantastic. Now this is the Magic Mirror Storyteller vinyl, as I said. These were a series of records that were printed, uh, or pressed, I should say, in the 1960s uh, by uh, Disneyland Records. Uh, as you can see down the bottom, it actually says 50 years since uh, this is the 50th anniversary, sort of, of this release. It's actually been over 50 years since uh, this has last been pressed um, on vinyl, or since it was first released, I suppose. The film came out in 1955, but this record was first released in 1962, and uh, it's, it's now back. And the awesome thing about this is it's a virtual reproduction of the actual item that was pressed, printed, created back in 1962 and it's awesome to hold something like this. I'll get more in depth into that in a minute when we go over to the uh, record bench to take a, a closer look at the, at the record and the packaging and everything. Now it's coming from uh, the vinyl vault, as you can see down there, you'll see it closer, there's your back, it's down there as well, vinyl vault. The Disney records, the sort of, uh, the people who are printing Disney records at the moment, I'm, not, I'm guessing it's still on the Disneyland label, um, they are bringing back a lot of the old records from the 50s, from the 60s. Uh, there's, I think this is probably only the third or fourth record that's actually come out under the Vinyl Vault range, but hopefully that's a sign of bigger things. Hopefully that means that there's going to be a lot more of these things coming out. And especially that they're reprinting or they're repressing the, this, especially this Magic Mirror Vinyl, uh, there were originally nine in the set. Um, we'll take a look at the back later, but it sort of gives you an idea of the films that were in the Magic Mirror Vinyl set. So I'm hoping that because this has been re-released, it means they might be releasing the remaining eight of the set. So I'm hoping I got my fingers crossed for that. Um, so, yeah, uh, you can get this at the Disney Music Emporium online, www.disneymusicemporium.com. I'll give you a link down in the description so that if you want to go and purchase this, you can go and uh, go and purchase it for yourself. Um, it's very reasonably priced, too, at the Disney Music Emporium. They have been doing a lot of really awesome stuff, whether it be releasing records or CDs or just posters and... A, sort of like bundle packs and stuff. It's all focused around music. It's all rare sort of collectible stuff. It's really geared towards Disney uh, Disney fans, Disney fanatics basically like myself. Um, and like I said, it's very reasonably priced. I'm gonna put that down because my arms are hurting. I'll put it here though so you can still still see it. But as I said, we'll take a close look at that in a moment. I actually, I had the info written down. Uh, just here. It's very reasonably priced. It cost me only about uh, $40 shipped to Australia, which is really awesome because 
a lot of the records that are coming out now, special edition, collectors sort of things, whether it be on coloured vinyl or just really interesting packaging like this, that could cost you up to $100. I've paid $80, $90, $100 for some records. This cost me $40 in local currency. Um, if you are in New Zealand, it only costs you about $30 shipped in your local currency. Uh, from the UK, it's about £20 shipped. And uh, if you're in the US, this is about $26 shipped. I mean, that's, that's really good value for money. And everything on the, the Disney Music Emporium website is actually, uh, is actually very reasonably priced for a, uh, a market where things are very, very, very expensive. Um, there's only one item on the website that... Oh, I can't, there's actually one or two items on the website that are very, very overpriced. There's a huge box set, the Silly Symphonies uh soundtracks which have been fully remastered i'm sure it sounds absolutely beautiful but it's almost 500 bucks in my local currency and that's just uh i would love it but i just oh that's a lot of money there's also a snow white book on there it's the master score 300 bucks local currency Ooh, a big collector of records a big collector of books but i just couldn't uh, cross the mark with those two, unfortunately. Uh, very, very exp expensive items. Uh, but I'm sure they're worth every penny. Um, anyway, we're going to head over to the record table and we're going to have a closer look at this and I'm going to give you a bit more of a backstory on it as we go through the packaging, the presentation and, and have a look at the record. So let's go. Okay, so here we are. This is the Lady in the Tramp Magic Mirror Storyteller Vinyl. It's a bit shiny there, but only because I've got a couple of layers of plastic on here. I'll take them off. Uh, first layer is just sort of a sleeve protector. I protect all my records in these sleeves. I'm a bit OCD about them getting wrecked, so it's always good to protect them. You get a pack of 50 of these from JB Hi-Fi for about 20 bucks here in Australia, so it's well worth it. Um, and then of course the record comes shrink wrapped. I've sliced the shrink wrap off the top uh, carefully, of course, uh, so that I can keep it intact and just carefully slide it off and then back on. A little bit of extra protection for the record, but also it preserves stuff like this, uh, which is the, the 50 year anniversary vinyl vault sticker. Uh, which is cool, it's sort of, I uh, like to preserve that kind of stuff as part of the presentation of the record. So we'll just place that part over here as well, and we'll come back to the record. Uh, of course, as I said, Lady in the Tramp, Magic Mirror Storyteller Vinyl. Why is it called a Magic Mirror? Because this part here, die cut oval, in the cover, opens to a storybook. Yes, it really is a Magic Mirror, isn't it? I suppose. Um, while we're looking at the cover, sturdy card. Look at that, it's this really thick card. Because this is really a book. This is a beautifully, beautifully produced book. Um, as I said, there are storyteller pages inside, which we'll have a look at in a moment as well. On the back here, you can see sort of the films that were represented in this collection. Snow White, Dumbo, Peter Pan, uh, Pinocchio, Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Bambi, Winnie the Pooh, 101 Dalmatians, Alice in Wonderland. Now I've heard whisperings that Alice in Wonderland 1 is perhaps on the way. Some websites are reporting that they're selling them as an exclusive. I'm not sure the validity of this. I'm sure it's absolutely correct, but I'm not going to give a link just in case, because I haven't seen the, um, the Disney Music Emporium post anything about that. Uh, they only have this one on their website for sale, and they've only posted about this one on Facebook. So until I get 100% certainty confirmation from the Disney Music Emporium that that one exists, I will sort of bite my tongue and not go ahead and buy that one. Um, these are also available at the Disney Parks, I believe. Uh, but for someone like me who lives, you know, many tens of thousands of miles away from either Anaheim or Orlando, it's a little hard for me to just sort of nip down to one of the parks on a lunch break or on a weekend or something. So going through the Disney Music Emporium is both cheap and very efficient and convenient. And uh, it means I don't have to go onto eBay and pay scalper prices for a park exclusive record or something like that. Uh, so... You know, very, as I said, very good price for something of this high quality. Very thick card on the cover, as I said. In fact, the Disney Music Emporium website 
and notes that this is a virtual duplicate of the 1962 classic. Even the paper stocks of the album cover and book pages are accurate to that of the 1962 record album, which is absolutely awesome. So that's what makes this just a really special piece of my collection, is that it's a virtual duplicate of the original album. Uh, it's just a regular size of an album, 12 by 12 inches. It's 10 pages, and of course it's got a beautiful gatefold on it. Uh, now, the Magic Mirror vinyls uh, are described on the Disney Music Emporium website as, uh, as albums that were cherished by their owners, prized by collectors. They featured clever die-cut oval, allowing a sneak peek inside the first page of the 11-page storybook. Uh, and uh, they're beautiful, they're very beautiful. The, the record itself has both songs and the story of the film. So it's got the music and it's got a read-along story as well. So as you open the pages of the book, you get beautiful uh, sort of screen grabs and images from the film alongside some text, which is read along uh, in, the, in the book itself. So here we go. Text, images, absolutely beautiful. Uh, the record is uh, narrated by Disney legend Tutti Camerata. Um, and you'll notice that the music on it is a little bit different, and we'll get to that in a moment when we have a closer look at the record. So that's the entire uh, record itself. Be very careful with this because the, uh, the staples may tear away from the actual cover itself. It's always a risk with records like this. Uh, let's open this up, let's pull the actual record out itself. It's a little tricky, it's a bit jammed in there, so... We'll actually go over to the record, uh, player to have a closer look at this record. Okay, so here we have the actual record of the Lady in the Tramp Magic Mirror Vinyl. The very first thing you'll notice about the actual record itself is the label. As I said, this is a completely faithful reproduction of the original uh, record, and they're using the original Disneyland label here on the record. Now, I'm just going to open this up and pop the actual record down, so you can get a proper look. Let's be very, very careful with this. So again, another quick look at the label there. Place that there. I've pulled this out of my collection just to, just before we did this video. This is a original Snow White release uh, vinyl album. It's not a Magic Mirror, but this is the one of the original vinyl uh, record releases of the Snow White soundtrack. Uh, just to give you a good idea, I believe this one was printed in about 1963, so a couple of years before the Lady in the Tramp Magic Mirror was. But uh, just pulled it out to give you a good example of the old Disneyland label there. So as you can see, it's pretty, pretty faithful. Apart from the fact that this one's yellow and that one's uh, purple. But I'm guessing that the original Lady in the Tramp one was, was a purple label. I'm just going to put this one down here. Um, without having the actual Lady in the Tramp one to compare with, I would say that this is a very, very faithful reproduction of the actual album itself. Um, I, I'm guessing that the label would have been purple and sort of shining like this is and that the covers and everything as I, as I said to you before are pretty much exact replicas. The actual album itself is heavyweight. It's not 100% heavyweight, so it's not a 180 gram, but it's uh, about 120 gram, I believe, which is better than sort of the... F no, actually, I'll take that back, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say it's better than the flimsy records I used to, to press on, but... This sort of feels like a 120 gram as well. Uh, so I'm guessing that Walt Disney or Disneyland Records were probably uh, pressing on these 120 gram uh, albums around that time. I don't have to guess because I've got the proof in my hand here. So I'm guessing that the original Lady the Trap Magic Mirror Vinyl was a 120 gram, which is good because some of the records back then are just so flimsy. Uh, and this is a good weight uh, for, for something like this. So let's pop the machine on and we'll give it a quick whirl. Just have a very very quick listen here. As Tramp and I walked out of the zoo, he told me all about his life which was 
far different from mine. He had a different home with a different kind of cooking for his meals every day of the week. He invited me to come with him to Tony's Italian restaurant for dinner, and I accepted his invitation. He said it was a very special place for a very special occasion, and he went around to the back door, which he said was his private entrance. Just a minute, I'm a coming, I'm a coming. Oh, hello, Butcher. Tony always calls me Butch. What are you being so long? I'll get us some nice bones for you, Butch. What's of these? Butch has got a new girlfriend. <laughs> You're a pretty sweet kiddo. Butch, you would take a Tony's advice and settle down with these one, eh? No bones are for you tonight. Tonight you get the best in the house. Do a spaghetti especially. Heavy on a pizza baller, and while you dine at the Tony's, you have a music. This is the night, it's a beautiful night, and we call it Bellanothe. Look at the skies, they have stars in their eyes on this lovely Bellanothe. Okay, so the very first thing we read that we notice about this record itself, uh, this red production, is that it's a very nice sound, it's very crisp, it's beautiful, beautiful, there's no pops, there's no cracks, there's no hisses, there's none of that kind of sound artifact stuff. It's a beautiful, crisp uh, replica of this album. I'm guessing that uh, over time the original records have gotten scratchy, have got dirty, got fingerprints all over them and probably sound pretty average. So for those people who did own this record as, as a kid and sort of want to uh, replace it with a crisp mint version, this is your only way to go but this is a perfect option for you. The next thing you're going to notice about this is that the recordings on it aren't exactly the recordings that were featured in the movie. Now, of course, the voices are different on this than the voices that were in the actual film, uh, and we'll get to that in a moment, but the actual songs themselves were recorded. In fact, this entire album was completely re-recorded from scratch. Basically, uh, the actress, singer, Peggy Lee, who played uh, Darling and the Siamese uh, cat in the film, she had her own record label, which was uh, Decca Records. She was, she was uh, contracted onto Decca. And all the recordings she did for the film went to Decca, uh, Decca Records. So Disneyland Records, or Walt Disney Productions, weren't actually able to put out a Lady and the Tramp uh, vinyl soundtrack when the film first came out in 1955. So their answer was, in 1962 they were doing the theatrical re-release of the film, and their answer was, let's put out a soundtrack in this Magic Mirror vinyl range, but let's re-record the entire thing. So I'm assuming Assuming they had the rights to the music and lyrics, but they just didn't have the rights to Peggy Lee's recordings. A lot of legal jargon, we won't get into it. But basically, they had the rights, so they went ahead and they put this uh, brand new album into production. Now, I, I mentioned the name uh, Tutti Camerati earlier, Disney legend. Now, I think I may have accidentally said that he, he was the narrator. Uh, I prefer to it as she, but unfortunately I got my names confused. Tutti Camerati was the composer of this album. There's a fully orchestrated new recordings of these songs, and Tutti Camerati uh, composed them, conducted them. Um, the voice actors on this are fantastic. The narrator is actually Ginny Tyler, who was uh, a mouse host of the syndicated Mickey Mouse Club. Uh, a television series. She lends her voice as Lady and as the narrator. Uh, Barbara uh, Luddy uh, reco uh, recorded the voice of Lady for the actual film. So none of the voices here are the actual voices. Uh, you've also got uh, character actors Dan McKinnon. He plays the Tramp and uh, the Beaver. Uh, we've got other names like Billy Bletcher. He plays Trusty. And uh, he used to play the voice of uh, Pete in the early Mickey Mouse cartoons. Uh, we also had Terry York, did a bit of the singing on it, sung He's a Tram and La La Lou on the film. We got Marilyn Hooven came in and sung some of the songs as well. And uh, Bob Grabo, the stage, the Big Bang stage singer, uh, records a little bit for this album as well. So it was a completely new cast, 
big cast brought into the studio and an orchestra and they re-recorded this entire album which is absolutely fantastic and the the only way, of course, this was the days before home video, so this is the only way people could bring a piece of the film home. It was a record, it was a storybook, uh, soundtracks, whatever. These were the only ways people could enjoy these films at home. Now, of, co of course, today we have all kinds. We can watch the movie on, uh, on Blu-ray or DVD. Of course, the film is out on Blu-ray. Um... Obviously, Disney have sorted out the rights issues to this film because there have been numerous uh, soundtrack recordings of it released in the past however many decades. Just another quick plug for the Disney Music Emporium or anywhere you buy CDs. I'm going to turn that down a little because it's annoying me. <clears throat> this is the latest uh, uh, release of the actual Lady in the Tramp soundtrack. This is the actual soundtrack from the film. It's uh, part of the Walt Disney Records Legacy Collection. Again, another beautiful little book style packaging, but for a CD. I won't go into it because I might do a video on these at some point. Um, this is the actual soundtrack from the film. This isn't the re-recording that was featured on this vinyl here. Uh, but it is uh, it's the actual soundtrack, so if you want it, you can get that as part of the Walt Disney uh, Records Legacy Collection. It's a beautiful collection hardcover books and all that kind of stuff. You can get them on the Disney Music Emporium, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them basically anywhere you can buy CDs. You can't buy them in the country, here in Australia, you have to import. I imported all mine and uh, I've got the entire collection of these and they're absolutely beautiful. The only one you can get in Australia is The Lion King, I believe, but that was brought out in just a normal CD case, not one of these beautiful little book sort of art packaging things. So. That's that. That's the Lady and the Tramp soundtrack if you want to go ahead and, and buy the actual soundtrack for the film. Now we'll stop this and we'll put the lid down. We'll just leave that there for now. I'm going to head back over to the couch and just deliver a quick wrap up. So once again, it's the Lady and the Tramp Magic Mirror Storyteller vinyl. It's available over on the Disney Music Emporium, so head over and get it. I've actually been told by a Disney Music Emporium uh, representative that it is a very limited pressing. Uh, so head on over to the website and pick it up, or head over to one of the Disney parks near you uh, if you're living over in the States. Uh, and see if they are selling them. I'm not too sure how many were printed, probably maybe a thousand, one and a half thousand, two thousand, who knows what limited means these days, but I have been assured there's a very limited number of them. Um, they've been on the website for about a month now, about a little bit over a month, they are still available uh, to purchase on the website. So if you want this record, if you're looking at it thinking, oh, I don't know, do I get it? Just get it, just get it, because Numbers are limited and you might not be able to get it for too much longer. So just head on over there. As I said, I've put a, a link to the Music Emporium in the description for this video. And with that, I'm going to come to a close on another one of my little reviews here for my new channel. It's in its infancy. Uh, so if you like what you see on this channel, if you like these videos, please, please, please subscribe. The many subscribers as I get, the more subscribers I get, the more videos I'll produce and uh, I'll be uh, encouraged and more enthusiastic to produce these videos. And I have so much I can share, so much knowledge, so much wisdom, many reviews of movies, of merchandise, of everything. So I've got a lot of stuff planned, but if I don't get many subscribers, I'm not going to do too many videos. So subscribe and uh, follow me and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to listen to this little record. I'm very excited. And I uh, will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching, guys. See you later. Have a magical day.